What's up everyone? Welcome to Sunny Sunshine Village. I'm Twig from New Schoolers and we're out here at Gear Week. We've been testing a bunch of really sick outerwear this week alongside all of our skis. I've brought Emma along here. She's been running a clothing brand for the last while and so she knows all the intricate details about outerwear and she's been giving us some super cool feedback. Everything so far this week has looked super sick. All the kits are really awesome. We've been pouring over all of the details, kind of uh, getting a look at what's new, what's interesting for next year. And yeah, so far everything's been looking really, really good. We've been uh, out here testing the gear in uh, various sorts of conditions. We've literally seen everything from full sunshine to uh, an intense blizzard. So uh, we've really been putting everything to the test to make sure it's gonna be good for you in any weather. <laughs> So first up, we have the Ansel jacket from Armada paired with the team issue cargo pant. And this kit is sick. This is the one that was really hard to get back from our testers. We just had to literally chase down one of our testers on the mountain to get the pants back to shoot this video. Everyone's super stoked on it. So this kit not necessarily being the most technical option from Armada, they definitely didn't skimp on the details. You still have the wrist gaiters, uh, a ton of venting, all of your zipper pockets, as well as the snow skirt too. So even on the powder days, if you decide this is the kit for the full season, it's gonna get you through every, every day, no matter what. Plenty of room for tall boys in the pants. The pants have a little bit of insulation just to stop them flapping around too much. And the jacket's a shell, but it's got a liner in it as well. So again, it's not too flappy. It's not a full on just windbreaker situation. Normally this one is more of a park and mountain kit, but we've had it out in some side country terrain. We've had people rocking it in the pow. It's kept them dry. The snow skirt keeps the snow out. This is a kit that you really can rock every day. Both the jacket and the pants are a two layer fabric. The jacket has a sort of rip stop thing going on and the pants just like a really thick burly material. Both of these are gonna hold up super well. So I'm five foot nine, 145 pounds, and I'm wearing XL in both jacket and pants. And it fits pretty loose. I am about 5'7", 115 pounds, and uh, you definitely have a little bit of room for layering, but myself being a park skier, this would be my preferred fit on everything is a little bit baggier. So um, yeah, the large is awesome. They give you a lot of um, room for adjustment on the waist as well. So even in the large being uh, quite a bit too big, you can cinch them down and they, they fit awesome. Uh, this would definitely be an awesome kit if you're spending a lot of time in the park. Uh, it has all the features you need in the sense you have pockets for everything, lots of venting. The fit is perfect. Um, but uh, yeah, we've, we've also had a lot of different testers of all different kind of shapes and sizes in these kits. And it's one of those ones that is just universally steezy. So uh, yeah, it's a great option for any park rat looking for some great gear to take them all over the mountain. Next up, we have the Vertic 3L kit from Scott. This is a really sick women's kit for backcountry riding. It's got a ton of cool features that make it perfect for a day in the backcountry, for touring, for getting after it in pow, deep snow. It has super lightweight material. It'd be really easy to pack up, um, really easy to move in, tons of venting. The color is awesome. You'd be spotted everywhere on the mountain. We really liked the men's version of this jacket as well, but the colorway here really pops in photos. It had all the boys jealous. The girls are all getting the shot because the jacket just makes everything look good. For a technical jacket, this one has a really relaxed fit. It looks pretty steezy. You can size up one size if you're trying to get that baggy look, but you don't need to go ridiculous with the sizing chart. This one is catered for a more new school kind of look. At the same time, it has a ton of technical features. All the zips are taped, all the seams are taped, and it's got plenty of venting if you're out touring. 
It's really light, it's breathable. This is a really solid piece of backcountry kit. This kit would be an awesome option if you are spending your weekend sledding or touring, um, hitting the resort, but still want something that's still a little bit steezy. You could definitely take it into the park. It might not be your first option, but it's pretty perfect for every other day. Nice and light and packable. So you, uh, whether you want to wear it on a, a day where you only need it in the morning and throw in your backpack for the rest of the day, or if it's pouring rain, you can pull it out. It's a, yeah, it's kind of a, a Swiss army knife piece. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is definitely part of a layering system. It's the kind of jacket, it's really thin and it's like very lightweight and packable. It's really for those backcountry missions where you're changing your level of warmth through the day. You want to pull off a layer underneath and keep it on the outside. I am wearing the size small in both the jacket and the pants. I'm about 5'7 and 115 pounds and it definitely gives you room to layer. Um, yeah, you still have a lot of a lot of space in it. It's like quite a relaxed fit, which is nice. Next up, we have the Evader kit from Rosignol. This is a three-layer outerwear setup with a slightly tougher fabric that's going to make it a really good everyday option. Yeah, it has a lot of awesome features to it as well. Uh, tons of pockets, all of them are going to be zippered as well. You have a pass pocket on the sleeve, handy getting through the lift line every time. On those warmer days, you do have venting on both the coat and the pant as well. Yeah, and the pockets are pretty nicely positioned. Like sometimes you find with a bunch of jackets that not everything is quite yet where you'd want it to be, but the leg pockets are great for your phone, keeps it out of the way. You've got a bunch of internal pockets for like your phone inside your jacket if that's where you prefer to keep it, and your goggle pocket inside here. It's got a really nice set of resort functional features, and it's also got enough venting that you could take it out touring if you want to. It's a nice relaxed fit. It's not too baggy, it's not going to get in the way, but it gives you enough room to move comfortably and it looks really good. Lastly, one of the features on the Rosignol pants that we've all been pretty stoked on um, is the boot cinch on the back of the pant leg. It allows you to cinch the back of the pant up to avoid mud, drag, your bindings, whatever happens to be in the way that day. I'm wearing a uh, large at the moment. I'm 5'9 and about 145 pounds and it fits slightly loose. There's plenty of room underneath for me to layer up, but it's not a fully baggy fit. It's just slightly relaxed and it's kind of a versatile fit. It looks good on the hill. Next up, we have the Pavara jacket and the Rayleigh bib from Armada. They are the women's more technical kit. They are a three layer system, so you definitely uh, will need to layer underneath them, but you do get a really nice windproof, waterproof, barely technical kit. This jacket is packed full of features. It's got a ton of pockets. Everything's really thoughtfully laid out. It has everything you'd ever need on the mountain. Plenty of storage space. This jacket has the ultimate pockets for uh, for touring. If you quickly rip your skins off, you can throw them in the pockets here and carry on with your day. Um, yeah, you're never, never lacking for space. Even the bibs have the dual uh, chest pockets as well. So room for your phone, uh, a spare pair of goggles, extra lenses, you are always stocked. This is a great backcountry jacket. It's got a ton of features for getting adventurous, but at the same time, it feels really tough. It'd be a great resort kit as well. It fits really steezy for a backcountry kit. It's a really nice, like loose, relaxed fit. You could even potentially size down if you want that technical kit, like feel or you can size up and then it looks like super swag. This is a really versatile kit that a lot of our testers loved. Armada have really upped their outerwear game this year and all of their line looks really sick. 
I am wearing the medium in both the jacket and the pants, and I am 5'7 and about 115 pounds. So there's venting on both the jacket and the pants as well. And the, uh, the material feels really breathable. It's really light. This is a really well-made, thought out jacket. So last up, we have the Rab Chroma Diffuse three-layer jacket. This is a Gore-Tex jacket, and it's the most technical jacket we have here at the test. All our testers were really stoked on this jacket. It's got a technical material, but it also feels really tough. We've put it through the ringer this test, and we've had people in the park on it. We've had people tomahawking over rocks on it, and it's a super durable piece of backcountry kit. This kit has definitely been one of the testers' favorites on the men's side this week. Uh, it's light enough that you could tour in it, but burly enough that you could wear it inbound skiing every day. It's definitely made it a really popular choice among the skiers. Yeah, this feels like a really well thought out jacket. It's got great pocket placement. It's got a pass pocket. It's really kind of one that ticks all the boxes. You could basically have this as your only jacket and wear it for anything and you'd be super happy. Again, it's a thin 3L shell, so you're going to want to layer up underneath rather than buy it and expect this to be the only thing you need to wear to go skiing. But that goes for all shells, and as they go, this one has great windproofing and feels super good. A thing that's really cool about this kit is it fits a pretty good variety of body sizes and it always still seems to look good no matter who puts it on. So I'm 5'9", about 145 pounds, and this is the XL. You can basically pick this as a tight fitting kit in this size if you're a taller guy. You want to size up, it looks pretty steezy. Like it doesn't fold in weird places. It always looks really sick no matter who's wearing it. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, we hope we gave you some useful feedback on the outerwear kits we had this year. We're super stoked with everything the brand sent us. And yeah, we feel like we, get, we got a really good range of stuff. If you're looking for something more park focused, check out the stuff from Armada. <laughs> if you want to go ultra technical, that RAB kit is going to get you anywhere, anytime. For in resort wear, we uh, definitely got to see a couple of really cool options from Rosignol. Uh, they do a really durable option that can still be layered. <laughs> yeah, Scott would be another great one for whether you're looking for something to take out touring with you or wear inbounds uh, it's going to be a comfy and lightweight option no matter what yeah sunshine village gave us a really great opportunity to test these kits to push them in all kinds of different weather conditions and all kinds of different terrains we've been skiing trees and catching our jackets on the trees we've been crashing on rails like these things have really been put to a good test and we're stoked with the feedback from our testers and it's given us a really good opportunity to give you some great feedback on what's going to be a cool kit for you to wear this year. If you have any questions on any of the gear that we showed you so far, hit us up in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to you.